Don't stop. A family shop. Think Bayer. Come on, let's get rolling. Come on, let's get moving. Think Bayer. Hi, this is Evan Pimnick, joined by the assistant coach of the Bowling Green Falcons, Barry Schutte. And Barry, it's the time of year where we're looking at the uh, incoming Falcons in a, the near future. Uh, let's start off with Connor Ford. What do you see in him that makes him a, a valuable member in the future, uh, someone who can really wear the orange and brown? Uh, Connor Ford's a, a great young man. He's from uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area. He's currently in his second year at Shattuck St. Mary's, which is an elite prep school for academics and athletics in the state of Minnesota. He, he's one of the leaders and captains on that team this year as a senior in high school. Um, as a hockey player, uh, for the Falcon fans out there, he's probably a little similar to uh, Cam Watala, who, who graduated here a couple years ago. He's a big body. He's going to be 6'1", 6'2", uh, who can really skate. Um, dynamic stick, uh, his head for the game, his, his hockey IQ and his vision overall um, is a huge asset to his game. He has the ability to make those players around him better um, and he can make the small hockey plays in all three zones. So um, he's a legitimate uh, top six forward at this level with his skill set, with, with the size he has, with his skating ability, um, and then ultimately with his stick skills in his head for the game. So we're excited for his development uh, over the course of the, his time here at Bowling Green, and uh, we got an opportunity for him to, to hopefully uh, he can play center, he can play wing, uh, but he, he, at the end of the day, he makes those players around him better because he thinks at a high level and he's got a really dynamic skill set. And the uh, same question goes for Casey Lincolnhelm. Uh, same thing. What makes him, uh, or what's going to make him a valuable member, member to this uh, hockey team in the near future? Uh, Casey's a, a little older. He, he's from the Chicago area and uh, played AAA hockey growing up through there and now uh, has played his junior hockey in Johnstown in the North American Hockey League. And Casey's a heavy player. He, he's really strong. Uh, he's heavy on the puck. He, he, he again has a high hockey IQ and sees the ice really well. Um, really crafty stick. Uh, skates north well. Um, and then just his one-on-one -on -one battles and and his puck possession game is really strong. So as we talk about our team trying to get the puck to the neutral zone and get to the offensive zone and uh, be heavy on it and, and wear teams down over the course of 60 minutes, uh, Casey has the ability to do that. His, his second effort, his third effort on pucks, his strength on the puck, and then ultimately his stick skills with his head allow him to make those small hockey plays uh, depending upon what the game, game brings him. So uh, very hard working. Uh, young man, very strong uh, and, and strong on the puck. Now wrapping up this list is Jake Dalton. Uh, again, the same question applies. Uh, what did you see in him that you knew was going to make him a good Falcon uh, in co coming up soon? Uh, Jake's from uh, the Detroit area, from Michigan, nor north of Detroit, and uh, played AAA hockey last year, and he's now in North American Hockey League. Uh, Jake's, Jake's strength is his instincts, his offensive mindset, uh, he's one of the more intelligent players that you'll see, and he can he has the ability to see the second and third layer in, in certain plays that a lot of kids don't. Um, he's off to a great start for his first year of juniors, and uh, he creates offense from the back end. Um, he, he's a great distributor of the puck, and he can see plays before others are thinking them, and uh, he has the ability to get around the ice really well. He has above average feet and he has above average head for the game. So you combine that uh, with just a smart, simple player. Um, he, he allows you to get the puck out of your end and into the hands of your forwards really quickly. And then offensively, uh, as a defender, he, he's, he's willing to defend, and, um, but yet offensively, we, we look for him to create the, the chances from the blue line in the offensive zone as well, because he's got great puck skills. And overall, he's a phenomenal young man, and. The ceiling, he's got a, a, a high ceiling as far as what he can be as a player because of one, his skill set. He, he won't be a, a big 6'3 defender. He's not that. Um, he, he's going to be a six foot puck moving offensive type defenseman who can defend in our system and help create uh, lots of puck possession and offense from the back end for our team. Well, Coach, I appreciate the time and we look forward to seeing these uh, three players join the Falcon family very soon. Thank, thanks, uh, thanks a lot. Great. Thanks for having me.